It is 2953 of the Third Age. Erebor has been reclaimed. Saron has fled from Mirkwood into Mordor to begin his pursuit for the One Dream. And the last meeting of the White Council has tasked Gildor and Glorian with assembling a fellowship to stop Umbarian pirates from assembling ancient artifacts from a Second Age prophecy. Join the players of this Adventures of Middle-Earth Dungeons and Dragons campaign as they unravel the mysteries of the prophecy. Welcome to Arda in part one of the Inglorian Bastards trilogy, Search for Tol Arasia. We are going to be traveling through the long marshes, and the, uh, the very first thing we'll do is an embarkation roll from your, from your guide. If you could put yourself in the order on the map that you want to travel right at the top, uh, on probably on the road makes the most sense. Um, and then we'll do an embarkation roll, and we have some shadow point rolls to, to go through. What's the, um, what's the uh, difficulty rating or whatever, peril rating? Uh, let me take a look. Shoot, a second ago I opened the chat window in a different screen, and now I can't do it again. I double clicked it. That's what I won't let me do it. Ah, yeah. Okay. Do you need people to roll for you tonight, Josh? <laughs> no, I don't. I, I got. I got it now. I okay. just need to get it in a separate window. This, doing it on a tablet is a little bit funky. Um. So this is. Uh, the lower handouts are an issue, though, because I can't get to them. <laughs> this is considered uh, severe terrain, so it'd be four. This is a four. Okay. Yeah. Yikes! Right. <laughs> Yikes! So. See what happens. YOLO, as the kids say. Ouch. <laughs> That's not terrible. Oh. All right. So, well, embarkation. Number six. Well, that's not bad, I guess. Um, well, oh, hang on. Is that even the right? I rolled the wrong thing. You did? Yeah, I rolled the arrival, arrival. arrival roll. It's a cool ass photo of it. Yeah, that seems more right. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, it's really cool. Why'd you say anything? Yeah, I don't uh, like that. That's That looks scary. Yeah, so Ungoliant, uh, I think, is one of the coolest characters in, in the whole Legendarium. It's, uh, you know, uh, it's the mother of Shelob. So you've probably heard of Shelob and uh, Ungoliant. Is it's like I, I posted some quotes this week. Um, there was when when Ungoliant was devouring the trees um, and drank drank from the, from the well in Valinor. They said that she grew to uh, this crazy big size, and that Morgoth himself was afraid. I just think she's one of the coolest characters, and, and no one really knows what happened to her. <laughs> Yeah, that's a bummer. But well, they just came out of nowhere and just ran into Valinor and like destroyed the trees. What's that? Well, how they just came out of nowhere and just destroyed the trees. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. like, yeah, they just snuck in. They just blitzed it. Yep. Uh, all right. So the embarkation role is this: the keen eyes of the enemy. The company has the misfortune to have chosen a path upon which fell creatures and evil men are more likely to be encountered. Depending upon their stature uh, among the free peoples of Middle-earth, it is possible that they have come to the attention of the agents of the enemy. As a result, they will need to work hard to avoid encountering those who would wish to do them harm. harm. Uh, a brooding feeling of danger seems to pervade their senses throughout the journey, as if unseen eyes watch them at every turn. Modify all results on the journey events table, which we don't use, by plus one, and the first roll made during each of these encounters should be made with disadvantage. So every encounter tonight, the first roll will be with disadvantage. As if we got like ambushed, kind of. Yeah, because I knew and where you, we were. Got it. Well, so you, you basically feel like uh, the eye of Sauron is on you um, now. He knows. I mean, you know from the river um, when when the black speech was being uttered on the wind, and it made the river swell. That that he knows where you are essentially, and he's coming for you. In fact, he's preparing a hunter, a wolf, to come get you. And you're actually traveling through what's called um, shark, uh, Shadowlands now, through, uh, through through a swamp. You're heading south to, to the um, Old Forest Road, um, and it's very marshy, very buggy. Um, and go ahead and place yourself in the correct order. If you guys, uh, I don't know who's bringing up the rear, but you know maybe some of you can scoot up a little bit. Um, and while traveling through Shadowlands, um, uh, I'll just give you a little, uh, we'll do a little meta gaming here. So is it, um, every, every hex that you travel through on the map, um, so, so, uh, 
Yeah, depending on what kind of land you're in, shadow or dark, you there's a possibility of you doing um, being affected by the blighted lands that you're traveling in. And so I pre-rolled these uh, based on the distance that you all have been traveling. Uh, so I need everybody to do two uh, wisdom saves. And maybe we just uh, start in whatever order we're, we're lined up in. So Burren can go first or whomever. Okay, tell me when to go. So Oops. that's one fail and one save. So Burn has one shadow point. Um, I guess Faradir, <coughs> Faradir, then Riken, then Tessero, maybe? Yeah, what's Tessero doing in the rear? Oh, he's smoking. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <What's the point? laughs> so that's two two fails. So two shadow points for, for the uh, Dunedain. Am I up? Uh, Is that me? Riken. Oh, it's me. Sorry. Yeah, Riken, I yeah. think. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's me. I got it here. Actually, don't Wisdom. see you. Oh, there you are. Okay. Oh, whoops. Uh, that's one. Uh, let's try another one here. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, there you go. Okay. So one shadow point for uh, Riken. Okay, cool. Um, where, are you guys, where are you guys recording those? Uh, we use the blue token. on. on so you click on okay, your token, cool. the blue circle. So, so um, would it be 10 plus one? What is it? I have 10 in there right now. Uh, go to zero. I think just okay. zero, one. zero, one. They reset because we had a fellowship Got it. period. Oh. All right. So angle in. <clears throat> Ouch. All right. So two shadow points for Angolan. Okay. And then Tessero. Mm. Watch him pass both of them. Yeah. The one that Someone should be going crazy, he'll pass them both. Someone no, he's better. Too, he's like too stoned to know what's going on, right? Damn it. I keep clicking on the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, would, it, would it be easier for me to just move the, the horses off of this map? Yeah, probably. We, we could just pretend we're driving them. <laughs> right, I'll move them over. You guys can move them over if you want. Does anybody have coconuts? You can smack them together. I'll yeah. <laughs> One first. Pass them both. All right. So at least everyone in the party uh, is somewhat affected by this uh, shadowy region. You definitely feel the eye of Sauron on you. Um, you know, I mean, after being told that you're being tracked, you feel like you're basically walking into it. Um, Wait, you don't really have a choice. How many did Tessa get? Just one. Just one. <coughs> oh, DC was 12. 15. Oh, shit. Never mind. Yeah. Oh, there are all the shadow rolls are uh, for Blighted Lands is 15. DC 15. Ouch. That's high. Yes, it is. Yeah, I have like a plus three modifier to wisdom, and I still keep failing them. <laughs> They're pretty tough. All right. Um, so if we could, let's do uh, let's do a round of initiatives. That was quick. Yep. Yeah. We're getting right into it today. <laughs> you guys are traveling oh, through man. traveling through Shadowlands. So wow. let's go double digits. I need I need to rethink my positioning. I think. <laughs> I I everyone, hey Jared, uh, everyone, like, well, everyone's rolling. What? Can you tell me again what these boots do? <laughs> yeah. So, what, what was your armor class before? Uh, Thirteen, I think. So your armor class is now fifteen. So if if somebody okay. if somebody misses you um, and uh, and it basically rolls an attack rating of fourteen or fifteen, uh, yeah, then uh, you can choose to use inspiration and two hit dice and shatter their weapon. Nice. Okay. So I waste. So I basically waste two of my hit dice to freaking smash their yeah, weapon. but I mean, it might be you know, it might be worth it. Like, yeah, like yeah. Um, if if uh, if Burren hadn't had a second axe, um, and and basically he, he's our tank, right? So he was he was he was basically soloing this black Numenorian, and uh, if he hadn't had a second axe, black he would have just been standing there unarmed against this black Numenorian. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Great. All right. So let me sort this. All right. So let's get let's get started right away. Let me find some music for us. We have anybody in our tr- our Twitch chat yet? Nothing yet. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's go with some battle music. Creepy swamp music isn't working very much very well. No, it sounds like I'm camping. <laughs> I'm not getting any of the music from Roll Twenty tonight. It's yeah. It's, it's, uh, sometimes it doesn't work very well. Can you guys hear it now? Uh, faint maybe. The better? Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right. Um, so, uh, gosh, let's see. Who would have the highest perception rules? Um, let's go with your guide, just because he's lead. I don't want to roll, and because uh, it yeah. makes sense. Okay. Um, you guys hear some screeching around you, and <laughs> these massive bats um, who, uh, I guess, Riken would be familiar with them, and possibly even Anglin. Uh, let me show you what they look like. Oh, jeez. Guano. <laughs> Guano. 
So you'll remember these things from um, another yep. Ventura reference. You'll remember these things from uh, when when um, Tariel and Legolas went into Gundabad, and they yep. were yeah, all those bats flew out of Gundabad. And the Hobbit, the Hobbit right? and the Hobbit, yeah. And they also attacked the dwarves when they were up on top of that mountain. So, uh, so that's what you see on sort of on all sides of you. And number one is the first to attack. So he's going to come in here, and he's actually he's going to take a swipe at. Uh, let's move this horse out of the way. Um, I guess he would take a swipe at Burin, uh, or no? We'll, we'll say uh, we'll say Tessero. Oh. The first one uh, it just makes sense space wise. Uh, all right, so let's see. What we <laughs> Does anybody know where I went? <laughs> Max, did you increase your AC by two? Yeah. Riken, are you missing? I'm at 18 now. <laughs> Riken, are you, are you missing? I am missing, yeah. Interesting. Because I, I, I increased my AC, yeah. Yeah, I don't uh, see you there. Okay, well, let's drag you back out there. And... <laughs> Running from a fight? Yeah, yeah, sorry. It was <laughs> I just had to pee. I didn't see the giant bats. So are you are you in the turn order? Did you delete yourself? Uh, I don't, how, how would I have deleted myself? Not, well, if you I rolled a seven. Token, I, yeah. I'm, I'm not in the turn order. Okay. All right. How would I delete my token? <laughs> how did this happen? We'll just put you in the turn order here. Okay, cool. I'll change it. I'll change it to seven. Yeah, I rolled a seven. <laughs> All right, so you go after fair deer, maybe. All right. All right, so let me, let me check something out here. This could be an interesting session for you guys. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, the DM says. Well, you know, I, I told uh, Spriggs before you guys all logged in that this this session, uh, I, I know we have six more sessions, but this session will kind of round out your Middle Earth experience. Uh, all right, so plus four to hit this thing. Uh, what's your armor class, Tessero? 18. <laughs> Tessero, your armor class is 18. Yeah. He got those, he got that corset. Oh, yeah. wow, that's right. Yeah, okay, so this guy's going to miss you, and we'll go right on to number four. He's going to swing in from the front. He's going to attack Burn. Uh, and he's going to hit you. He got a good roll. So we'll do... These guys don't do much damage, though. He does eight damage to you. Okay. And you're, not, <laughs> you're not raging. I know. That's the first time I have to take full damage. Uh-oh. All right. And then number two is going to go next. And he's going to swing it into Faradir, I guess. Plus, these guys, um, are they attacking from way high up, or are they coming down to our level? Oh, good point. Let's see. This guy started from here. Uh, I'm not talking about how far away they were. I just want to know, like, um, are, they, are they, like, dropping rocks on us? or what No, no, they no. They're, they're going to come and, and try to do a bite attack. Oh, okay. Got it. Um, sorry, my, my narrative's a bit off today. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one crit fails. So he uh, he actually lands in the swamp right here next to you. Oh, nice. All right. Thanks, swamp water. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it's Tessero's turn. All right. <clears throat> Tessero is going to take out his bastard sword. Oh well, first of all, the the reason the bat missed is because Tessero did a um, he did a roll for us. Um, <laughs> on his saddle. Yeah, <laughs> he rolled. He ro- yeah, whatever. It, it, he did it. He rolled off um, the horse, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's actually a pony, but um. Oh, sorry. He rolled off the pony. That's what I yeah. saw, anyway. Yeah. Uh, um, so yeah, he's going to take out his bastard sword, and he's just going to try and stab this bat here. I don't think you have a bastard sword, Max. <laughs> oh right, not a bastard. Sorry, broadsword. Broad. Yeah, he does not have a bastard. <laughs> Which we already <laughs> established in the world of Lord of the Rings is not really very broad. Yeah, it's more like a, like a rapier. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, lit- take very out. loose term for that. Take the rapier <laughs> for 400. He might nickname his sword the yeah, bastard. The right. Take. Does that hit? Probably not, right? It uh, unfortunately does not, I don't believe. No, that- oh, oh, no, no, it doesn't hit. Sorry. <laughs> I was pulling for you. Disadvantage uh, on the first attack? Is, it, is that what you said? Or was it? Okay. Yeah, disadvantage on the first attack. So you got yours out of the way, Tessero. Nice. All right, Faradir, with disadvantage. All right, so since my first attack gets disadvantage, I will attack with my offhand first. (laughs) (laughs) You clever, clever child. (laughs) I don't know how my character would know that, but... That's okay. We'll we'll allow it. He just put his he put his ear to the ground. (laughs) (laughs) Anguara whispers it to you. Hey, hey, attack with me second. You have disadvantage. Alright, so this is 
Okay. And then, um, then let's hit him with the uh, Angoro. Which is a badass sword. All right. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. 68 damage. damage. Yep. Oh, shit. Okay. So so this thing landed in the swamp next to Faradir, and he, he swings with his, his uh, offhand first, and he had to, like, kind of reach across the saddle. <laughs> misses and then he, he just stabs down Anguero and uh so the there's like a 15 foot uh red glow and as it goes into this thing's body it just goes dark Ooh. all right Riken. um which bat did you just attack was it one that flew over or was it one that was stuck in the swamp wait oh is that dead yeah oh sick okay. Number two. <laughs> all right so so which the one you just attacked was it the one that fell into the swamp Yes. Oh damn. Okay. So, so what's this other one doing? Uh, it will fly away eventually. Okay. So it's fl- it's flying right now. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's in the air. I'm trying to find a way to do something dumb. So uh, if it's flying, that limits my options. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I, I, and I guess I guess what I from the from the sake of, for for the storyline, then and we'll say it landed. How's that? Can okay. You, can you do um, something dumb now? <laughs> yeah. If it landed, I want to I want to go I, I want to see if I go stomp it into the swamp. Can I do that? You want to stomp it? <laughs> see what, what I was gonna do. What I was gonna do is the other one kind of crashed, and I was thinking maybe I could drown it. Oh uh, no, no, I killed that one. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so we can't really do that one. So I'm just gonna take a shot at it with my bow because I I, can't, I figured with the one that crashed, it was probably flailing around in the muck a little bit, and I could go over and stomp its face into the muck, you know? Yeah, fair deer chop that <laughs> one. A new asshole. Oh, that's a bummer. All right, so this one's just get, this one's just getting a shot then. Okay. Uh, um, and I'm, I'm I'm just I, I, let me rephrase that. I'm just gonna miss when I go shoot at this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. A six. Yeah, you got it. all right. So it goes yeah. a little wide. Um, you're you're distracted by Tessero's roll. <laughs> that was an amazing roll. Yeah, it was more of a sit and spin on the saddle. <laughs> I kind of went to I, I went to go take the shot as the bat was flying down, and I had it all lined up and I lined up. And at the corner of my eye, I see him do a roll, and my mouth just kind of like drops open, and I it's missed the shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining, man! Hallelujah! <laughs> all right, angling. He's gonna take a short bow shot at the one near Tessero. All right, all right, with disadvantage, that will hit. Nice. Rejoice. All right, and you do three damage. Yeah. We got to talk about your damage. Uh, I did that? roll. Uh, that was. Uh, yeah. I don't know, man. It's not really here for the combat, though. I mean, no, I like. Is there? I like how I am kind of here for the combat, but I do just about as much damage as you do. It's cool. What did you say, Jared? You said he's here for the walls. Oh, I said he's there for the oh. the, the lower rolls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Like, let me study that. <laughs> uh, you're here for tonight, man. That's what you're here for. Just wait. All right. Uh, so, Burin, last attack before the bats. All right. Uh, I'm going to get up here on four. I'm just going to swing at him with my new axe. Uh, let me find the one that's not rage. There it is. All right, with disadvantage, that will hit. Uh, and you're attacking the one in front, right? Yeah, four. Okay. All right. So you get a really good shot, and you love the way this new axe feels in your hands. You're right, I do. <laughs> <laughs> he blue-steeled it. Tessero blue-steeled the bat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this other one's going to come in. Um, he sees his, his buddy bat friend get s- swiped by the dwarf. So he thinks, yeah, yeah, you know, that axe doesn't look very sharp. Let's, let's go attack that guy. Uh, so let's see if he gets a hit. What's your armor class? Oh, he'll miss. Okay, back to the top of the order. Let me do a couple more rolls here. All right, we're going to have the rest will miss. So we're back to the top of the order. Tessero, <coughs> it's you, but it's sorry. Um, okay, so Tessero is going to take out his uh, broadsword again. He puts it away and then takes it out again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he needed to roll again. That's why. <laughs> Too dangerous to... I don't know that you get stealth attack for or sneak attack for this one. Well, is Riken's uh, within five feet? Uh, well, of, of that wing? Probably. Um... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll allow it for this fight. Um, so you do... Wow, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Um, all right. So you, after you, you, um, you were a little dizzy from your first roll, but you've recovered and and you, uh, you actually kill this thing in one hit. It looks very surprised. Almost like, like you were sneaky. (laughs) (laughs) All right, fair deer. 
So uh, you got two more bats left, and they're all flocking around the dwarf. All right, I'm going to uh, help her in that a bit. <clears throat> and I'll be, I'll hit number three. Okay. What is it? All right, so that's two hits. Are you are you attacking? With- oh, I just rolled them both so I could open my character sheet quickly. Uh, I'll hit I'll hit uh, number three with my first attack. Yeah, it's hard with that thing. Okay, so Anguarel um, is still dripping with blood from the first bat, and it appears to be very pleased um, to be covered in blood, uh, and it's glowing really brightly. And uh, and it's so when you take a shot at this next bat, it almost like hones in right to the to like its heart and. You, you chop the first one down, right. and the second one, um, you um, mortally, yeah, you mortally wound the second one. Oh, wait a minute! Uh, you yeah. can, or you can wait. And I be dead. I hit it for ten. Uh, yeah, Burn hit it for ten. She'll probably fall asleep really yeah, fast. So you, That's all right, so this one's dead as well. She was real so awake you, last night, and then she fell asleep. He actually right. chopped down both of these guys in one turn. Cool. All right. So I, I say, tef- I yell over to Tessero. That's three. <laughs> <laughs> the, the question is: uh, Is Tesro enjoying killing things as much as the rest of you? Uh, Tesro's only keeping track of his rolls. <laughs> all right, so you all travel. Um, you you, uh, you feel like the rest of the bats have sort of retreated or just didn't uh, ever engage to begin with. Um, but you, you've been you've been on this path for almost a day now, and uh, let me see how how much longer are you on this path? Um, and you've actually been on this path for probably like two or three days, um, and after another two days, you finally get to the sort of the crossroads where the old forest road um, is. Um, and, and after that, you, you travel for a good number of days. You know, um, Anglin, you could tell the group that um, it's about 16 days uh, without horses through Mirkwood, uh, but you, you do have horses, so you think possibly you can get through in uh, almost half the time. Okay. Um, would everyone be keen on traveling straight through with we can if, with horses? Yeah, I'm, uh, uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. All right. Without or with? With. Okay. I would say with, yeah. yeah. Though this marks the end of the episode, the road goes ever on. Until next time, join us at longwinded.one and consider giving us a review on Apple Music, Spotify, or really whichever platform you choose.